Gracias. No hay más problema. De nada. Gracias. ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué significa para nosotros, el record más importante? ¿Qué significa para nosotros, el record más importante? ¿Qué significa para nosotros, el record más importante? And it turned out really good. It, it took a long time to make it, where, um, especially a lot of studio time, which usually we record so very quickly. But it was such a hassle to record it with like seven or eight different producers. It meant it took a lot longer. If we were to just taking the songs and record them the way we usually do, we probably would have been out um, six months earlier. But then we wouldn't have tried all the things that we wanted to try. So. Mm -hmm. in, in this album. Uh, how hard was to take that decision? It wasn't very hard because we had sort of a set plan for the three first records that we did and we just felt that it was time for a change and we, we had long fucking meetings about what to do and who to record with and everything and we just said that let's try everything, you know, Let, let's be open-minded for once, you know. Now, uh, one of the producers that work with you uh, that we're uh, a big fan of him is Rail. That most of the time he's a hip hop producer, yeah. but uh, with with Nerd we can see like a lot of other like uh, rock influential. How was the experience to work with Rail? It was really fun. I mean, I think we both, both us and Pharrell did it because we had never done anything like it before. I mean, we're fans of each other and have been for a long time. Uh, we met him first time like three years ago or something, four years ago, and. Uh, He right away said that he wanted to work with us, but it just didn't happen until now. But um, it was really fun because it's so, in a way, the way he works is so fast and immediate. It's very, very different from what we're used yeah. to. Yeah. You because know, we're always picky about guitar sounds and shit, and he, did, he couldn't care less, you know. He just put out the microphone and record and yeah. songs instead of sound, pretty much. Yeah, yeah whereas usually when. Yeah, because usually most rock producers is like, yeah, no, I think I'll move that mic one inch to the left <laughs> and you do that for three months and then then maybe you can record <laughs> now uh, some bands when they create an album when they're creating songs some bands focus on how it's gonna sound on the cd and then other bands focus on how it's gonna sound live uh when you're creating songs do you focus on how it's gonna be live i mean we always no we it's always the same record. thing for me yeah it's the same thing because we record everything live well we always record with the whole band and then we do overdubs and shit But it's, um, no, it's pretty much the same thing, though. If it sounds good on the record, it's probably going to sound good live. Unless, you know, it's, you know, you have a bunch of programming and shit that you don't do live. But no, I don't see how it would, there would be a difference, really. Now, uh, if you, if you try to see your prospect with your career and you, and you see the time with our legal, how much have changed the network of, of the guys <laughs> as a human being, not, not as a musician? Uh, uh, very, very. I mean, we put out Barely Legal when we were 17, and, and you know, that, that's a long time ago, and I, and I guess it's, it's uh, one of the times in a, in a, a man's life that, that, you know, in that period, people changed the most, so. Yeah. It's still, it's still the same parts and everything, but <laughs> it's very They're put together different. Yeah. Now, for 2008, uh, what's next for, for the band? We're still touring the Black and White album and uh, making new music as well. But we'll, uh, we got a US tour, we got a European tour, we got summer festivals, we got, I mean, that's basically what we do. We play to people. That's what we like to do, play concerts to people and have them love us. And now, uh, we're talking about, about uh, the time of the Burley Legal. I mean, you're from Sweden. How hard is to, uh, to be a band from Sweden and starting kind of internationalize your music? It is a hard process, or, or you didn't feel that way? No, we didn't really feel that way, because we always wanted to play outside of Sweden. And uh, we did our first uh, European tour, I think, in 98. And since then, the goal was was always to sort of just play new places and, and visit new places, I guess. And, and as many as we can fit in in a lifetime, we'll do it. Yeah, we were never really interested in having first, you know, playing in Sweden enough so that people would like us in Sweden. And then if they accepted us, we could go other places. We always figured we could go wherever we want and play to whoever we want and 
Because I think a lot of bands make that mistake that they just kind of wait around for someone to tell them that they're allowed to do things. They wait around for someone to give them a record deal so they can make a record. They wait around for someone to... I mean, it's gotten better, but a lot of bands at that time did that. And we just figured that, you know, we can do what we want, so we will. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias.